to hell. Brother, brother. Okay. Yeah, in heaven. Halloween of Hades. Way more moral than your God. The believer, believer who has made into heaven, they will get whatever they desire. Sometimes if I want my husband, but he's too busy with all the other virgins. Look, you would not have desires. Like, for example, I want both of the team wins. Huh? Imagine now you have... What I'm saying is God will purify your desires. There will be no envy, no greed. What's pure about I, wanting? Can I, can I, can I clarify? Yeah. There will be none of these things, no contradictory positions and so on. So, for example, you can't have saying, God, I want to see a football team playing and both of the team winning. Both teams can't win because only one team wins. So, the man so, wins. so, so, yeah, so the man anything wins. which is contradictory Islam is going to remove from your from psyche him. where you will not be yeah. asking That's things. Wait, 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 wait. Most what women, I'm saying is most women anything that is contradictory most women are in hell, man. Yes. and most women are also in heaven. Okay. Yeah. So, so excuse yeah. me, can you not? Yeah, so look at this. Can but, you be one meter away yeah, from me? Yeah, verse for verse. No, one meter away from me. COVID length, verse for verse. One meter away from me, speaker corner okay. bylaw. One meter Where's away from me. Where's the bylaw on speaker's corner? You are young to know this. That's why I'm saying okay. get a growth development. Okay. Real, you know. real code, code. One so meter away is the bylaw. Bylaw, bylaw. One meter yeah, away. One meter away. Just to have okay. a Thank you. One meter away. Right. Even in any public place, you should never invade someone's private space. Private space. Places like this, right? So, so, the majority so, so of the now, inhabitants, I looked at hell and saw the majority of the inhabitants okay. were yeah. women. Excuse me. So, most of Don't touch. people. So, now here, look at it. As I said, women. look, ladies and gentlemen, surely for Muslim now men, you're not in, and now you're, hey, you're interrupting. You're, 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 you're breaking bylaws. You're breaking bylaws. An inch. Can I, and so, brother, an inch. Can I read that to you? Okay. Thank you. Right. Here. Surely for Muslim men, Men and women, believing men and women, devout men and women, truthful men and women, patient men and women, humble men and women, charitable men and women, fasting men and women, men and women who guard their chastity, and men and women who remember Allah often, for all of them Allah has prepared forgiveness and a great reward. Now, the question about many women in Hellfire, this is a fact of reality, as well as many majority of women in heaven. So it's just they're more in number in both places. Now you're... you should be debating, you don't have to. Oh, really? That's yeah. Yeah. Why would Sorry? Because I would be funny to talk about that. God says, whatever they desire. Oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. No, no. Look, if you desire, if you desire, if you desire Hitler, who killed all these millions of people to come to heaven, do you expect God to listen to your prayer? Hitler declares that Jesus Christ is King and Lord, yeah. and repent. Okay. Let me let me make another example. Imagine a murderer, rapist, genocidal individual, right? And died as a died as a disbeliever in Christianity and in Islam. But you like this particular man, right? Oh, if I wanted him to be in heaven. If in heaven you say, God, I want this man to be in heaven. According to Christianity, would he come in heaven? No, because because uh, don't heaven listen to this kid. So he's Christian. No, 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 he's he was not, not a Christian. We don't understand that. Can friends can? So he's not a Christian or, or a Muslim. So they believe. So yes, are you listening? Why are you listening to a kid? And if anyone you're that they him, want, so Allah will can you hold this? Yes, so I now, so now, do you not realize? Because I can get in Islam, those who deserve to go from your family. To paradise, they will go to paradise. Because that's not righteous judgment. Anyone who because that's not righteous judgment. Don't do that to me. That's not righteous judgment. One meter away. I am a meter away. Are you in one meter? Give him an inch. Yeah, go, go away. Right. Be more generous. So even someone from the family, if they're in hellfire, you can't just drug them out from hellfire. They have to be ones who have made it. So that means in heaven, you will not have the greed for those who are in hellfire. God will cleanse your heart from this grief and sorrow because heaven is supposed to be contentment, What's joy, clean? bliss. What's clean about multiple oh, please, please, please. That you asked a question, heaven? right? So, someone's so family member, if someone's family member has not ended up in paradise because they were so bad, because they were so bad, right? You would not want them. Huh? 
Are you, are you listening? <coughs> you would not want someone who is gone to hellfire through the justice of God because your heart would be cleansed from any of these kind of things. So you would not even want, for example, a criminal to come into paradise. Do you understand? So why aren't we allowed 72? If a man wants to be homeless in heaven, why not? Because they affirm divine command for it. In, sorry, because you affirmed the bank command. I don't know why, what do you want to do. Because, what do you want to do? <laughs> Just stay where you are. Because you so affirmed now, the bank so command. As you re Mansour. So as you Mansour. now realize, I'm not speaking to you. Because as you now realize, the bank command respect theory, which means to your own self. Your moral, so your moral excuse me. Your, your fourth oh, point. Yeah. What's your fourth no. point? Eternal okay. foreknowledge. So What's your fourth reason? What is your fourth reason of not becoming a Muslim? So far, we've realized they're not justifiable. Okay. So your reason is that you don't have the Holy Spirit, so that nothing comes to live and dwell in your hearts and your mind to transform you okay and help you guide you each day because in my mind i want to sin all day every day Sinful but this holy spirit is here telling me don't do that do you, so you let me so let me understand what you just said you don't believe in islam because in Islam, there is no Holy Spirit that comes within you to guide you, to purify you, to, to dwell within you, right? Yeah. Right. So if can I just test something? Not yeah. testing God, testing you, right? Do you think God, the Holy Spirit, is with the Catholics or with the Protestants? Thank you. He is All of them. them. Yes. All of them. He is with those who declare that Jesus Christ And who is are they? Catholics or the Protestants? Yes. All of them. In the All Bible, wow. it's the non-denomination, okay? My you question is specific. To, to but my no, question is specific, though. Uh, my my yeah, question yeah, is yeah. either the Catholics or well, the Protestants because explain, they don't agree maybe. on several things. Yeah. So who is the Holy Spirit with? Well, no, rather the Holy Spirit can work. Who is the Holy Spirit with? He's with yeah, true believers. Catholics or the Protestants? He's with the true believers. So as you now realize, so, you're not answering the question directly. Yeah, realizing the Holy Spirit. No, no. No problem, a, I'm not going to ask you again. Humanist. But as we yeah, realize Mansour, now, Mansour. the Holy Spirit, Mansour. as you know, Mansour. cannot be with both. No, yes, they can. Because no, they, they can. disagree. For her, they can. They can. You Mansour. don't believe Mansour. that they... Mansour. 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 Okay. So do you agree then? What is this? I'm trying Mansour. to talk to Mansour. So is the Holy Spirit with both of them? So Mansour. And do you Mansour. really want to look on camera and go... Hmm? on whether they are actually a true believer. No. You get Catholics... Who are the true believers? 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 A true believer is someone who believes in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Is it the Protestant or the Catholics? That is not... That is not... Question. Now realize your your reasoning of not accepting Islam, your fourth point, is not something that is justifiable so even according to your standard. So what transformed you as a Muslim? When you decided, if you decided to be a Muslim and weren't born into it, what transformed you in your heart and your mind to cleanse you of your old self and your sinning self? Sure. In Islam, God is one and only being. But made he doesn't parts, have. He doesn't have another nature. God. Wow. And By the another way, I can God, right? Okay. I can demonstrate. So, that. so God. So, I can demonstrate that you believe. So I'm explaining. Yes. I'm explaining, and he's interrupting. So I can demonstrate that you have. To maybe you can tell. Are you, are you listening to me? Yes, well, so far, okay. With all this interruption, you can still listen. Wow. Of course, I can listen. No, she can multitask. Okay, no problem. So as I'm explaining, in Islam, the concept of God that we have is one and only being. There's no other second oh, okay. God and third so God and first God, God like that. So God gives us the guidance okay. so if we in various the ways. Of a is a he has instilled the guidance, nature. what we call and in our fitra, number one, first and foremost. Fitra is a natural Would disposition in which oh, your really? heart is already... What is false, what is true, okay. what is right and wrong. This, this, this from the very beginning. Be really? Yeah. So that's why, that's why, that's why even a three-year-old, three-year-old or a five-year-old would know within their hearts already. The concept. Listen, listen, listen. You have four kids. Anyone under the age of five? Yeah. Right. Do you give them toys? Yeah. Right. Get someone to snatch a toy from them. What happens? They do that themselves. No, no. Get someone to snatch a toy and run. What, what, what are they going to, how are they going to react? They'll probably scratch each other. 
What, how are they going to react? Saying it's okay? Or start crying, chasing, and giving it back, right? Yeah, but there's a difference between knowing. Would that your child react and say, no, that's mine? Yeah. For example, right. That's not your bait. You Why? Know has the bait tactics. It's not very because bright, but he knows that it's speed. Ah. And they don't know How that did a right? child less than five years old know Listen, what is fair is unfair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they grow, they're born like, sinners, and we have to teach them right and wrong. Otherwise, we wouldn't have to teach them you? Okay, did you teach your child fair and unfair? What humble they were not a tremendous chance. They are born snatching their toys. Every parent knows that you have to teach your child to share a space. Justice, justice. You will realize even if you didn't teach your child, good that you do, as parents we should do, right? So you didn't teach your children. I am saying concept they of justice. No, 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 no. Children are not perfect. We need to remind them. But they're not so what we So your child forgot to be perfect. Mansell has children. We yeah. have to remind them constantly. Remind them because the child's forgotten. Look, look, look. The concept of justice is such that concept of justice is such that they know already when a justice is being violated. So a three-year-old. If something okay, is snatched away from there, toys or something like this, they'll start crying. Yeah. Because inherently they know justice they is violated. Let's do, let's do a case study. Be yeah, some, some kid will start fighting. So justice is violated. So in the Quran, God says, God guides, guides, right? He guides those who are grateful or ungrateful. And then Allah says in, in Surah well, Shamsi wa Duhaha, Qad aflaha man zakkaha wa qad khaba man dassaha. Purified up those. And then his schizophrenic personality kind of. Fa'alhamaha. God says in the Quran. Fa'alhamaha fujuraha wa taqwaha. The verse before it. God has inspired within each soul the good and the bad. Wow. Successful are those who purified their souls, and those, of course, who don't, they are not. So, so the concept of this purification is already, as I said, level one is internal makeup is already there. Second level. Why do you need that? Even I know. Why do you need that? If we define schizophrenia, why do you need a transformation? Why do you need that? If we didn't have that internal disposition, right? Some people will make an excuse saying I didn't know anything about it and that's why when the society brainwashes them brainwashes them conditions them then they become something else and they'll say God I didn't know that so God removes the excuse from each soul saying you knew that I existed and you knew the things that I've instilled within you so how do we prove for ourselves it's by get, coming back to this message of Islam through reminding, through teaching, through learning what's already there and what additional things Prophet and Messenger brings. As we learn them, we're supposed to practice them. So I don't need, I don't need like something called the Holy Spirit or whatever. What I need is my soul to be on the right trajectory to do good. Whenever I'm about to do wrong, I'm reminded something what is right and something goes wrong. I'm not sure we're doing that. And my you response should be the, no, the moment the I've done a mistake to acknowledge that I've some done, done something wrong, immediately turn to God in repentance, ask God to forgive me, and make the intention not to do that again. And finally, if I have done something wrong to another another creation of God, to rectify it. Like if I snatch something for you to go back. So now, your fifth point. My fifth one is an opportunity for you now to share benefits for me as a woman to yeah. come to Islam? Yeah. Absolutely. Beautiful question. Huh? What? So, yeah. beautiful, beautiful. So yeah. what do you have? What does Islam provide? Islam provides, the, Islam provides, first of all, the truth, and hellfire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. So they will interject as you realize from not hearing this question. Right. It will provide you what we call salvation and success. 
because the only salvation and success relies it, it on, in the, the relies on, yes. relies on, as I have already explained to you from the Quranic ayah, believing men and believing women are read to several categories so that women don't have any excuses whatsoever. So once you realize that you worship God, as he should be worshipped, heaven with eternal bliss and contentment and whatever your heart's desire. Whatever your heart desire. going to change my desire, cleanse my desire to his. Cleanse, cleanse your desire from hatred, bigotry, jealousy, anger. These things, these things. Do you expect in heaven? Okay. Do you, I didn't even hear what they said. My husband can beat me lightly. Uh, no. No. So, so now, so now, do you expect in heaven there should be jealousy, greed, anger, hatred? Exactly. So what Islam does, it provides a mechanism in which these things will be totally removed from heaven. So you will enjoy companionship. You will enjoy. In fact, the greatest reward is the vision of God. The vision of God. Why does that mean Islam is false? The greatest. Why does, why does that we will see our God in heaven. But why does that prove Islam is false? On earth. Why does that prove Islam is false? Yeah, yeah, you, you, you come on this side and let them talk over, over there. You can come closer. Why does that prove Islam is false? The woman. Why do you guys have an interest in Islam? So, in, in, in continuation to reply, what does Islam offer a woman? As I said. On earth, Islam Lord, offers sanctity, yeah. security, yeah. peace, yeah. contentment, yeah. safety, yeah. companionship, yeah. and it provides a mechanism in which she can live her life protected. Looked after, a woman taken. Consent is expressed by her no, silence, Mansoor. Yeah. So that's why when we treat our women, we treat our women like queens, not like sheep toilet paper. Right. Right. So, brother, the way we treat our women, we treat our women as I said. Right? God, God, God. In fact, you know, the Prophet Muhammad. I'm explaining. Sahih Bukhari 2858. Prophet Muhammad said, The Prophet said, Even though men should be saved, how can I hold when your people are interrupting and hearing men? Even though men is a A companion asked the Prophet, Who has the most rights? All women. My father or my mother. Only men are the sons of God. Guess what the Prophet said? The Prophet said, I will show you the fire. And the majority of the dwellers then who? Then who? The prophet said, your mother. The company asked, and then who? And your mother. No, 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 no. Explain what it means now. You'll realize. Your mother. And then. So now, his companion realized. Is this Why the amount of respect, honor, care that we need to provide our mother? What about our father? Right. And says, then no, your father. The so what it right. shows here is the importance of women as our mother, our wife, our daughter, our sister. Why? Because historically speaking, Throughout human society, women as wife, mother, daughter, In sister, has been victims of patriarchy, victims of Take what we call and abuse, and so on. Islam came to protect it. them, to elevate them from this, from this mistreatment of suffering, so that, so that what does women can be free from this slavery of all the societal laws that were involved. So when so when, when in Europe, Christians were debated whether Christian women are sold or not, are you listening? Oh, yeah. Please listen to me, right? Sahih Bukhari, 3237. Unless that's just said, if a husband causes his wife to his bed and she refuses and causes him to sleep in anger, the angels will curse her till the morning. 
Whatever you've heard from him, if you want to discuss with me, I'm more than happy to discuss. But I'm I'm willing to Bukhari, but I am, but I am only willing to discuss with I'm only willing to discuss with you. I'm only willing to discuss with you. If you find some of those things that you want to discuss with me, I'm more than happy to discuss with you. So let me now finish the point that I'm talking about. Right? So, so when, or when Europe, Europe, Europe. Women cannot be the children of God. Brother, yeah. when so Europe... Men should be the sons of God. Why is that? When, when why Europe... Why is that was? Yeah. 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 Sexual yeah. discrimination. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it sexual? He's a man school of that. She's listening. We will defend them too. So, 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 as you will defend them, brothers and sisters, and councils give you a call. You know which Europe? Europe? In Christianity. In Christian Christ. Europe. Nobody here will be converted to Islam by the power of Jesus Christ. We will defend our brothers and sisters in Christ. Nobody will convert them to Islam. By the power of Jesus Christ. Nobody here will be converted to Islam. You're scared, aren't you? You're scared. Okay, listen to me. 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 Listen to whether Christian women had a soul yes, or not. Soul or not. So did you know that? Islam you know that? provided the elevation of women's status that even today and people are struggling to give that right to her. Women had right to inherit. Not only they had a soul, exactly. but they had a right to inherit. As women, not to be exploited. I mean, how can I talk Unless when you're letting him not letting me know this. Virgin's consent is so, expressed by just think about it. Great. Great. No, no, what I'm saying, did not listen. Why are you dodging the question? I am saying, no, no, I'm saying, no, no, what I'm saying, may I make things on, may I make one thing clear? Yeah. Anything that he's bringing up, if you want me to discuss with you, I'm more than happy to discuss with you. But I don't discuss with him. I don't discuss with Kameen. Yeah. So I'm more than willing, anything that you hear, I'm ignoring them because I'm listening to you. I can discuss with you. So the point I'm making is, how does Islam treat women? Islam treats women as queens. Look how we treat women. Right. So, we love you in Jesus Christ. This is what Islam really teaches. Islam says, Islam says, there are, the human psyche between man and woman is different. Biologically, we are differently hardwired. Sorry, I'm sorry. 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 We are differently hardwired. Yeah. Women Which can. Are you getting at? Please. In Surah your question about why? Why has many wives? Uh, we your question about yeah. four wives. Yeah. Yeah. Your hand, a no, 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 no. Hear my answer first. And strike your me, wife right, with it. Right. right. So because we're differently wired, yeah. how does? No. How? You need four wives. Last four intentions. In Jannah, there are 72 virgins waiting on my eternal youth. 72 virgins. Be jealous. Be jealous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really appreciate that. So, because we're biologically hardwired differently, our wearing in our psyche is different. You mean there is men need more sex? No, I'm explaining. Yes, okay. Would you allow me to? They would be, they would be waiting on by eternal youth. Yes. Because 72 women in Jannah, and little kids, yes. and little kids, and little youth. You will never hear the answer if this is going on like this. Right, now we're going to listen. So, change your batteries, man. So, for example, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just giving you the preamble to understand the difference between men and women. Why God legislates taking this difference, difference into account, account right? Yeah. Would, you would you not, okay, in principle, would you not, would you not be happy that, that God, God takes, takes into account the difference, the difference between, between a, a man and a woman and legislates based on that? No, it's because some women like more sex, some women That's don't. the question. I'm saying in general. So you can't in general. But well, sometimes when you got the wire in to charge up, it misses up. Created men and women. Mm -hmm. If he legislates equally, knowing the difference between them, would that not be unfair? 
Well, it's Sahih Muslim. Would that be unfair? Allah would that be unfair? Allah is the portion. So to be fair, to be fair, indulgent. Allah is responsible for adultery. I define it with destruction. He is responsible for adultery. So I define it with destructing what people. Is this? Are you genuinely seeking a response from me? We will defend the gospel. We will defend the brothers and sisters. I'm just saying. I'm By the power of Listen, Jesus Christ. If I say something, you won't listen. Right? Maybe if you say something, you will. He's possessed. He's... We hear you very well. Yes. Okay. Look, I know it is. So men and women are different. That's yeah. the first point. Well, I'll just look on you. I'll just look at you. Okay. So thank you. Thank you, thank you. So as I was saying, it will be not that much. In general, whenever God legislates your for God us do's and don'ts this and that Shut up. allow up. allowability up. and prohibitions and be with my demons if God legislated. No, but have not defeated by black magic and by poison. Well, have they got defeated by poison? Like Jewish ladies. Maybe I will wait until you finish it. Do you want to move away? God descended to the hellfire.